So if you've ever looked into buying a 4K display for gaming, you've probably heard your fair share of professional Reddit arguers yelling at you as to why you need this size or that because of any number of reasons, but what size 4K monitor should you actually buy? Well, lock those cheeks in tight because today I'm definitely gonna answer that question using cold, hard, inarguable math. All right, so should you buy a 42 inch, 32 inch, or 27 inch 4K gaming monitor? Well, many will claim 27 inch is the best because it has a higher PPI or pixels per inch and thus, in theory, a better looking image, but that's not necessarily true for everyone. While PPI is a useful metric for manufacturers to compare their processes, it's not actually a very useful metric for buyers as the quality of the image is highly dependent on your viewing distance. This is why in order to find the right size for you, it's important that we measure the pixels per degree field of view and distance from the display you're comfortable with to achieve the maximum visual quality and immersion for your individual setup. And the best way to do this is to one, get an idea of what you're looking for. Do you want to be further away with a larger screen or do you want to be close with a smaller screen? Maybe even go into various different places like Best Buy and test out what feels comfortable for you. And once you've done that, you could even open up an online calculator like the one that I'll be using in this video and I'll have linked in the description below to determine the exact right size screen for you and your particular setup. And the way you wanna do that is to try and get as close to a 60 degree field of view as possible as all sorts of information and studies do suggest that the average person's highest clarity maximum field of view is around 60 degrees. You wanna try and shoot for that and you also wanna try and get over 60 pixels per degree. The reason for this is also because yes, once again, and I'll try and link some in the description below, there are a ton of studies suggesting the average person with 20-20 vision will have at least 60 pixels per degree. And there's some people as well as other studies that would suggest it could be even much higher than that. And so if you go ahead and you use a calculator, like I mentioned, to get a 60 degree field of view as well as 60 PPD or higher, what you'll find is, well, with a 27 inch monitor, you're gonna wanna be around 20.5 inches away to get 64 pixels per degree and 60 degrees field of view, giving you the maximum immersion possible, as well as the highest discernible quality out of that display for the vast majority of people. And you have to ask yourself, is 20.5 inches or somewhere around there a good distance for me? Is that too close? Is that too far? Well, if it's too close, then you may wanna consider a 32 inch monitor. In this case, to get that same 64 PPD and 60 degree field of view, you'll wanna be around 24 inches away. And in America, units, that's about two feet away. Is that comfortable for you? That's actually very comfortable for me. But if that's still not comfortable enough and you want to be further away, well, you may want to consider a 42 inch OLED. To get the same numbers there, you'll be about 32 inches away. Now you're talking about getting closer to three feet away. And for a lot of people that actually may be a lot less strenuous for their eyes, or perhaps it's just a lot more immersive to have a larger screen viewed from further away. And quite frankly, those are the decisions you're going to have to make. Regardless of what people on the internet might tell you, well, the math is solid. There is no particular reason as to why a 27 inch is better than 32, or 32 is better than 42, or vice versa. Quite frankly, they're all going to give you the exact same image quality when viewed from the proper distance. So you have to ask yourself, what am I looking for? What do I want? Personally, I prefer 32 to 42 inch monitors. I find that viewing distance very comfortable and I find them very immersive still. But for TV viewing where I wanna be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit further back, well then I want a much larger size screen so that many people can enjoy it and still get highly immersed in such a large picture. And again, that's gonna come down to you. But I will have some of the best 27 inch, 32 inch, as well as 42 inch OLEDs that I have ever reviewed in the description below if you figured out what you want. And if you haven't, well again, I'll have the calculator in the description below and you might wanna go ahead and check out 
various different sizes to figure out what fits best in your particular environment. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, RuPro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And now RuPro is offering a new detachable and upgradable pure fiber cable that sends the same 48 gigabits per second signal through its ultra thin and flexible housing, making it easier to route through walls. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.